My piece is the actual first piece from my series called Blue and Gray. And when I saw the topic of this, um, the Cato Institute theme, freedom, I thought, you know, well, psh, Civil War, you know, it fits right in. And because, you know, the things that they were fighting about in the Civil War are pertinent today. You know, freedom, you know, the character of our nation, the opposing views and citizenship for people who live here, it's all still relevant. So it fit right into the topic. But I think I'm just one of many people that are just so blown away by the soldiers that were in the Civil War. My interest is not so much their strategy of the war or the battles. It's just the men that fought and just it's just so crazy that they would fight day after day even against brothers or you know they'd be on another you know fighting against fathers or marching off next to them to, even when they knew they were going to die I mean they would go in and they'd know they were going to die and they'd still go and it's so it's just so intriguing to me so I I, I would look at these Photo, old photographs of these soldiers and think, you know, who were they? Who did, they have a name, even though we don't know what, a lot of them, we don't know what their names are. They're just unidentified. But they, you know, who were they? Who did they leave behind? What was their story? What were their hopes? What were their, you know, what happened to them? So I took their um, actual amber types or tin types from the Library of Congress and really looked at their faces and gave them a life again, you know, so people can look at them and look look in their face. And, and um, the piece that I have is um, a captain holding a wolf by the ear, and that is supposed to depict Thomas Jefferson's quote. He said um, when he was talking about slavery, he said, "We can, as it is, we have the wolf by the ear, and we can neither hold him nor let him go."